Today I am reviewing the Peri Peri Tempeh with Portuguese Rice Bowl by Solara. Now Solara is a meal delivery service with a difference. It's 100% plant-based, so no animal products such as meat, fish, dairy, eggs, making it really vegan and vegetarian friendly, as well as suitable for those who just enjoy eating plants and want to consume more of them, which is all of us really. So there's lots that I really love about the Solara products, in particular this meal. Um, firstly, I love that they are using 100% um, plants. I think we could all benefit from having some more plant-based meals in our diet. Um, they also are using all whole food ingredients. In fact, there's not that many ingredients on this list, which is a big tick for me. Um, and they aim to use no um, preservatives or additives, any lab made ingredients. Uh, so this peri peri tempeh with Portuguese rice looks like it's made up of sort of a third um, rice, a third tempeh and a third of the greens. So in terms of the ingredients, the main ingredient here is um, tempeh, which is a really great plant-based protein source. Firstly, it's fermented. So this is actually a probiotic, so great to feed our gut microbiome, and it is actually easier for us to digest. So there's some two good tips. Um, as a protein source, it also contains nine essential amino acids. So it is um, regarded as a complete protein source. Now there's not a lot of complete protein sources of plant foods. So this is um, really great that they've included it in here and particularly for those who don't have any animal products in their diet, it's um, a great option. Tempeh comes with a lot of health benefits. It's high in antioxidants, so really great at reducing the damage caused by oxidative stress. It's also anti-inflammatory and seen to help reduce cholesterol levels. It's also beneficial with hormone health, in particular helping to reduce symptoms of menopause. Uh, tempeh is another great food for helping to manage our blood sugar balance. And as I said, feeding our gut microbiome and, and providing us with good quality protein. So there's lots to love about tempeh. Having said that, I am disappointed that Solera are not identifying where their tempeh comes from. So one of the big things with soy products is that a lot of them, particularly those made in um, America, are genetically modified. And we're seeing a lot of emerging research about the harmful effects of genetically modified soy products, including tempeh. So we're seeing that it can actually be disruptive on our hormone health in, as opposed to be beneficial uh, and also increase our disease risks. So it's really important that you opt for organic and non-GMO tempeh, particularly if you're eating this often. Uh, so Solara actually have responded to me saying that they don't identify any of their source of ingredients um, where it comes from or whether it is non-GMO or organic, particularly because they can't always um, guarantee that they're going to get organic food sources or that they're going to that one supplier. So being that they're not marketing that they're using organic ingredients, uh, suggests to me that they're probably not um, using non-GMO soy and that's a bit of a concern for me. So another thing about the ingredients in this peri peri tempeh dish is that they have been a little bit creative in the description of the meal in saying that it has a lot of detoxifying greens. Now the only green really in here is kale aside from shallots. So they are being a little bit liberal I guess with that. It would have been nice of them to include some more detoxifying greens so that we do get that benefit of supporting our liver path pathways. And the only other um, vegetable pieces they include is uh, carrots aside from onions and garlic and the shallots. 
So um, it's not an overly rich in vegetable dish. Um, they do have some nice flavors added. The miso, bay leaves, as I said, the garlic, there's some chili in here, which is, which is great. Um, and they've used um, the basmati rice, which will help with the fiber component. Now this is a 350 gram meal size. Um, of this, it is 28 grams in protein, so a, a good quality amount. It's not their highest, but it's definitely a good quality amount of protein for a plant-based food. It's about 50% carbohydrates and about 15 grams of fat in here. Now the fats are pretty much coming from the olive oil um, and the tempeh itself. Now, another thing about the ingredients that's got a question mark for me is that there is peri-peri sauce listed on there, but it actually doesn't tell you what that peri-peri sauce is. Um, I like to make sure that I know exactly what's in here, even though they've um, identified that the meals are free from additives and preservatives. You know, there is a question about what exactly is that peri-peri sauce. So it would have been nice for them to note that down. But on the whole, there's some great ingredients in here. You are, as I said, getting some protein, you're getting your greens, you're getting some fiber, which is great. And it sounds like with the aromatics in there, the onion, garlic, chili, um, and miso, that it's going to be a tasty dish. So these just need a couple of minutes in the microwave with the film pulled back and we will see how it tastes. So the first thing I noticed when I heated up this peri peri tempeh is that the smell is really delicious. So it's got a really nice garlicky smell instantly and you can smell those onions. Um, so it is really mouth watering. The other thing I noticed is that the textures are really lovely. So you've got some rice that's not at all gluggy and there's little bits of onion and carrot through there. And also there's nice generous bits of kale here which have been sauteed with um, the shallots and the garlic. I can really smell the garlic. Um, as with most of their meals, the tempeh are in these cubes. Personally, I prefer them in thinner strips because I just feel that they get a little bit dry and almost cardboardy, which is not that pleasant. I had eaten some smaller bits of tempeh that weren't as big as those cubes and it was nice and um, tender, but the rest, as you can see, it's just a little bit dry. Um, so there's no additional sauce with this. Uh, the flavors are really yummy. If you like some chili, there's a really nice hit of chili and um, it leaves that, that's your aftertaste. Um, so on the whole, I do think it's an okay meal. Um, the flavors are really yummy. There's some nice textures in here, but just like all the Solara meals that I've tried, the tempeh is a little bit dry and just not that pleasant to eat once you start moving through the meal. Uh, I also wanted to just mention, as I have mentioned in the other videos, is that I would prefer that they weren't using plastic um, and maybe opted for cardboard because they are trying to reduce their environmental impact using plant-based foods. Uh, so it would be nice for them to go one step further. Overall, the peri-peri tempeh is a really tasty dish. I do have some questions over the quality and the source of ingredients, in particular their tempeh and what's inside that peri-peri sauce. From a nutrient point of view, it is quite well-rounded in that it, it has a decent amount of protein for a plant-based meal. Uh, and with the rice component, it's not dominating. So it's, a it's just a nice serve of rice and it is in well balance with the tempeh and the vegetables. So while it's 50% carbohydrates, this is coming from a complex carbohydrate source with the vegetables, the tempeh and the rice. So you're not having those refined carbohydrates which are more detrimental to your health. So yeah, there you have it, that's another review of the Solara meal range. If you do try this meal provider, make sure you leave your review on mealprep.com.au.